Welcome to Sin City Chronicles. Let's jump in the time machine and go back to the opening of Caesar's Palace. It took place August 5th, 1966. The $25 million resort was 14 stories tall and had 680 rooms. Andy Williams was the property's first headliner. And there it is, Andy Williams. The original guest list for opening night was 20,000 names long, a list that was eventually cut down to 2,000 people. The objective of the resort? to make everyone staying feel like a Caesar. Up next, we have a couple of firsts for pop music. August 7th, 1998, the Backstreet Boys had their first Las Vegas concert. The show was at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Was anyone there? I, I, I took a date there. Actually, she, she took me there. It was a wonderful concert. And well, let's check this out. Two years later, this pop star arrived. August 4th, 2000, Britney Spears had her first Las Vegas show. Her Oops, I Did It Again tour. It was a sellout at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Sadly, Dusty Hill from ZZ Top passed away last week. The band had connections to Las Vegas dating all the way back to 1976 when they had their first concert at the convention center. ZZ Top performed more than 20 concerts in town, and here they are at the Thomas and Mac back in August of 1986. We end with the National Wrestling Alliance. They brought the Great American Bash Tour to the Thomas and Mac on August 4th, 1988. The show was loaded with their top tier talent, including the Road Warriors, Sting, there's J.J. Dillon, Lex Luger, the Four Horsemen. What a night it was. And wrestling fans, don't forget, SummerSlam is happening August 21st at Allegiant Stadium. And that's your Sin City Chronicles for the first week of August. Rock you're, not, you're not going to that. Oh, no. I won't be sitting on the field <laughs> cheering everybody on. Were you I at the uh, Backstreet Boys concert? I think I was. I really do. 1998? 1998. Yeah, wow. I was there. Wow. What a time. What yes, a time. the 90s. All right.